it is Friday and I received this box. This is a box of praying mantis uh, pods and I believe there are two of them in there. I watched John at Growing Your Greens. He uh, puts praying mantis in his garden to get rid of squash bugs and things like that. So I thought I would open this here on camera and look and see what it looks like. This will be the first time I've ever done this. As you know, I tried ladybugs in the garden for my aphids and, uh, or excuse me, aphids and things like that. Um, they flew off, but that's okay. Oh, this is like upside down. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. So they're in there. There's two pods in there. So I'm going to read up on this. Hatching habitat contains two egg cases and praying mantis. So let me read up on this. and I will continue this video. Hi friends, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Today I am going to make a hatching house for my praying mantis. Um, I'm gonna try to put it in this jar. I know a lot of people um, plant theirs outside to hatch, but I'm gonna try to do it inside so that the kids and me can kind of keep an eye on them and watch. I think that'll be a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna make it real quick though. Before we get started, I wanted to say something that I had posted on Facebook that I ordered ladybugs for the garden. And uh, my neighbor up the road commented, ladybugs, we're waiting on our praying mantis to hatch. And I'm going, what? Praying mantis, what are you talking about? So I had no idea that you could put praying mantis in your garden to eat um, other insects or pesky you know, insects that you don't want in your garden. So anyway, um, after doing some research and you know, Googling and YouTubing and things like that, I found John on um, Growing Your Greens and he, um, has been using praying mantis for about five years now okay so after watching john's video i decided oh i'm gonna go ahead and order some so i got some ordered i received them in the mail um i'm thinking i don't think i want to hatch them outside just because you know i'm afraid of kitty cats getting them birds or whatever and like i said i would like for the kids to be able to watch them hatch in like a hatching house so anyway after that i ordered them got them here decided I need to look up some videos or how how do I um, hatch these inside, right? So then I run across another channel called Wicked uh, Wicked Awesome Gardening, and um, she described a whole she opened up a whole other can of worms for me. Okay, I didn't know there were a difference between you know praying mantis. She says to order the Carolina praying mantis, not the Chinese praying mantis. That so the Chinese praying mantis are a um, they're just so invasive, like they eat everything. They'll eat all your pollinators, your butterflies, they eat hummingbirds. Um, they'll eat your Carolina praying mantis, probably if you have those. So anyway, I'm like, oh no, I've got these in the mail. Which ones did I order? So I had to Google the information um, on, this is, the, these are called, um, it just says praying mantis contains two egg cases and this is the company is called nature's good guys so i googled them and looked and uh they are carolina mantis so i was whew, i'm glad that that's what they are because i thought oh no i'm gonna have to get back on and do some more research and try to find the ones to order so anyway these are the same this is the same company that i ordered the lady the ladybugs from and um, you can watch that video i can put a link to that on the ladybugs the release and everything so i'm gonna link that video down in the description um, wicked awesome gardener she will tell you in detail the differences between the chinese and the carolina uh, mantis i mean she goes into detail so go ahead and give that um, a watch and I like I said I'll put it in the description below always look at the description guys there's always usually a very important information in there okay so let's go ahead and get started so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to try to put them in here I'm gonna um, put them in my shop because it says to put them in a warm dark place um, so I, and these this doesn't smell like pickles anymore I've used these jars for so many things I have a couple of here and I have two um, egg egg pods like I said she planted hers outside also I'm just a little bit nervous about uh, cats getting them and things like that now these don't really look like cylinder type I'll show you the shape there so I'm hoping that this is still I mean it said Carolina when I looked it up so I'm hoping that it is um, this little line right here is what we're going to be working with. We're going to put it like right here. 
and we're gonna have it up off of the ground so when they hatch they come out and crawl down and it has this right here this actually went through this part and kind of stays there like that so I'm gonna set this in my jar actually I guess I need to cut this a little bit here break it off and I'm just gonna set it in here like so just like that now the other one is not like that. So I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can see that, see. There is a line there, but there's not a place that I can just slide that toothpick down in there. So I'm going to do what she did, and she put it on a stick, and then put a twist tie around it. This might end up taking two people. She made it look really easy. Awesome Wicked Gardener. I'm so glad I found her channel. Gosh, I hope I'm not handling this too much. I'm trying not to damage this egg. I'm going to cut those off. Now it says to place these in a warm area, not in direct sunlight. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm going to put them in the shop. And I found that this little lid will fit perfectly on top of here because we want to have some ventilation. It has a screen right here. It says it'll take two to six weeks to hatch and that each one could possibly lay 500, no, 50 to 200 babies. So we're just going to check on them every day because apparently also they will start eating each other if you don't have food in there. So we'll just check them. I decided to go ahead and tape the top of this. We do, just in case a cat does happen to get out there, they are barn cats. So I'm gonna because it wasn't staying on there. It didn't just like screw on. So I'll go ahead and put tape on there. guys that's it I'm gonna go ahead and set these in the shop in a dark place and it is definitely warm out there so um, after they hatch then we'll go ahead and record that and show you the release of the baby praying mantis thanks for watching guys have a good day